Hi, my name's Lisa from Pilates by Lisa and today I'll be taking you through my top hip releasing stretches. Now the hips, and in particular the hip flexors, are so important to focus on. Whether you sit at your desk for long hours or you're very active cycling, running or playing sports, the hip flexors can become very tight. It's really important that we all focus on lengthening and stretching this area to keep our hip joint nice and healthy and to keep the pelvis in its correct position. So all you need for these stretches is your mat, so let's get started. Now for this first stretch, we're going to come into a kneeling position. So bring your knees right underneath your hips, nice and tall, tucking the pelvis under. We're going to send one leg forward, reaching towards the front of the mat. Just make sure that if you send your knee forward, the knee won't come over the toes. Now tuck the pelvis under and really press and lengthen through that hip flexor. You might just want to stay here, bracing your core, tucking your tailbone and feeling the length through the hip flexor. This can be quite an intense stretch. If you'd like to come to the next level, place your hands on your thigh, gently shift your pelvis forward and keep opening up and lengthening through the front of that hip. Keep the pelvis nice and square and centered and keep lengthening through that hip. If you want to take it even further, take your hands behind your back, lengthen and stretch and open up your chest, opening up the front of the body even more, really releasing and stretching through that hip. It's the fantastic opening stretch for that psoas, for that hip muscle. Lengthening and opening up. As I said, whether you're sitting at your desk for long hours, or you're very active, this muscle tends to get very tight and very short, especially if you do sit for long periods of time. Come all the way back to the center and we'll come straight over to the other side. So just bring your leg back and we'll come straight over and bring that foot forward. Coming all the way up into a kneeling position, tucking the pelvis under and just finding that length and finding that stretch to begin with. Pull the abdominals in, stretch nice and long and this might be enough for you. You might just want to stay here and find that length. Otherwise we're going to make sure our toe is forward and we're going to reach the knee directly over the toe as you stretch forward and open up through that hip. You can imagine when you're sitting down for those extended periods, when your hip is lifted in that 90 degree angle, it shortens and staying in that position for long periods of time can cause it to become stagnant in that position. So we need to do the opposite and open up the hip at this angle to lengthen out that muscle. If you want to come to the next level, interlace your fingers, open up your chest, reach and stretch opening all the way up, pulling the abdominals in, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the neck long and finding the length through the front of the body. Keep the shoulders down, good, keep the abs pulled in, stretch and release. And then when you're ready, just gently come out of that stretch and we're going to come directly into the next stretch, our pigeon pose. So you're going to bend through that leg, you're going to bring it all the way down to the mat you're going to stretch your other leg out behind you and just bring the hip down towards the ground. Now just play with the angle of this front leg. The more you open it, the more you're going to feel the stretch. So just bring it to where you feel comfortable, keep the hips facing forward and just gently come over that front leg, stretching and releasing. You can lift up a little bit higher and you can place a towel, a rolled up towel underneath this hip if you prefer. Otherwise really stretch out nice and long, come all the way down lengthen and stretch and release. Just holding that stretch, pulling your abdominals in, keeping your shoulders down. This is fantastic for not only opening up through the hips, but also through the glutes as well. So you can feel that stretch pulling through the side of the hip and through your glutes as well. The glutes can become particularly tight. And when certain areas of the body are tight, it can cause a chain reaction and cause other areas to compensate, become tight and weak. So we need to make sure that we're really stretching out the entire hip, lengthening and releasing. Let's come over to the other side. So gently lift yourself up, tuck that toe under, bring the leg back, and we'll come straight over to the other side. Send the leg forward, reach. Now lengthen that leg out behind you. Make sure the hips are nice and square here so you're not rotated to one side. Staying nice and square, reaching over the leg, lengthening and releasing. Remember you can place a towel underneath your hip so it elevates you a little bit more and alleviates the tension of the stretch. Or you can come all the way down and just lean over that leg. 
pull the abdominals in, keep the shoulders down, keep the neck long, and just find that beautiful stretch. And reaching all the way out, keeping the shoulders relaxed and away from the ears, and keeping that navel drawing in towards your spine. Just holding for a few moments longer, just finding that position where the pelvis is nice and square and both hips are facing down towards the mat. Now to come out of this stretch, we just gently roll to the side, bring our legs around and come all the way down into the mat. Now lengthen all the way down, you're going to cross your right leg over your left, just above the ankle and press the knee away. Open up that hip and keep that same position. As you bring the legs in towards you, thread your arms through and stretch and release once again through the hip, through the glutes for your figure four stretch. Now what I want you to do is, is bring your elbow to the inside of your thigh. So as you're drawing your leg in and you're reaching through and reaching for that back leg, you can press your elbow into that front leg and open up that angle a little bit more. Externally rotate to really lengthen and stretch through that hip even more. And just enjoying that stretch. Every time you exhale, just bring the legs in that little bit closer. Good, releasing and stretching. And then we'll change sides, cross the leg over, open up the hip, reach the arms through, bring that elbow into the thigh and stretch and release. Breathing into it, opening up the hip even more. And then when you're ready, just release that stretch and hug your knees in towards you. Now, if you loved this stretching routine and you want full length, real time workouts that you can do anytime, anywhere, that don't just focus on stretching, but also on rehab, sports specific, strengthening and toning specific areas of the body, check out our online studio at pilatesbylisa.com.au. We have a video library of over 300 full length workouts there waiting for you. I can't wait to see you on the mat.